Hello, Surf Painter. I just wanted to make a quick and messy uh, video uh, regarding the Veteran Sherman. Saga of the BTLOU error message continues. Um, not having any problems with my wheel. I just got an email from eWheels, uh, who I purchased this wheel from, and they informed me to do a little bit of a modification in order to protect the BMS which I assume is inside one of these battery packs and kind of near uh, the outside. So, in order to further explain that, um, this is a photograph from eWheels. It has a before and an after uh, of the modification. It's some of the ribs on the inside of the shell uh, and you just need to Dremel out three of them. And then I had a series of uh, emails with eWheels being very, very clear about exactly uh, which of these you Dremel out. And you don't have to overthink it. Basically, once you get the shell pieces off, like so, um, it's the same three uh, little areas that you need to Dremel out, which I've designated with the uh, masking tape, on each side. Um, because basically it's universal how they put the batteries in um, on the wheel. So you don't have to think about front, back, whatever. Just get the shell pieces off. Uh, Dremel out these specific three on each side. And that apparently will add some added durability to the BMS. And uh, hopefully prevent um, anyone getting that. BTLOU message, which I had gotten. Um, I will men mention, um, with my air message, wheel was fine, and then I basically was doing something like I'm doing right now. I had the wheel on its side. Well, I wasn't doing a repair. I was just doing some work on the outside with the leverage pads. Um, but I had the wheel on its side, moved, maneuvering it around. I turned it on, and that's when I got the air message. So, um, probably I damaged the uh, BMS in exactly the way uh, that this little modification will prevent. I think I'll mention uh, well, a couple things. If you look at um, the inside of uh, these cases, uh, I did not clean them out. This is exactly how they look coming off the wheel. And uh, my veteran Sherman has somewhere, um, I think somewhere between two and 3,000 miles, but I might be over 3,000 miles. And uh, I go everywhere, and I ride in all conditions. Same thing inside. It's just nice and clean. Everything looks really, really, really good. Um, and then one thing I was going to mention, it's no secret that you can take the panels off without taking the pedals off. Um, but uh, I think everyone discovers it's, you know, kind of a pain in the ass to get the panel to come off. Obviously, take out all the screws. Uh, if you have any leverage pads that block the uh, pedal, you have to remove them. The pedal has to be up. And then what I do is I just kind of loosen the panel, and then I use a screwdriver and just kind of gently leverage up one side and kind of pull it up, hold it. And then I come up on the other side and just kind of leverage it over this edge on the bottom. Um, and then basically able to just wiggle it up and out. So, um, yeah, I think that what I'll do, um, I do have a Dremel, a uh, little Dremel tool. So I'll just carefully remove these sections and then maybe turn the camera back on and show the work I've done. Um, but basically, you know, I just wanted to communicate the same thing that eWheels communicated to me. Um, because I know that there's some people who have watched the video with my air message. Who knows, you might be getting it from AliExpress uh, or another retailer. And you're not going to get this um, little bit of information. Uh, E-Wheel says that they are doing this modification with new wheels. I don't know if that's going to be coming from the company or if that's going to be just a modification that's going to be done each and every time they sell one. Uh, but anyways, that's a whole lot more information than I intended to share. 
Uh, but uh, I just wanted to communicate this last bit of the BTLOU error message and um, hopefully this modification will uh, alleviate any possibility of that happening again. Hello again. All right, so I dremeled out the uh, little sections of plastic, which I'll show you. Just a quick, dirty job. And then I actually left the little flecks of plastic, uh, um, which I'll obviously uh, blast off with some compressed air um, and then make sure that that's all nice and clean. I also used a little... Uh, Exacto and drill to kind of clean up the edges just so there wasn't any fuzz or sharp edges of the uh, plastic. But yeah, super, super straightforward and easy. Um, and that's just a matter of putting the panels back on uh, and then making sure that I put them on the correct side. So the two sides are universal. They can go on either side, but then if you have any power pads or customization on each side, I think I actually did that once. I think I took the panels off and then I put them on backwards, which was super, super annoying. But anyways, so yeah, hopefully this will resolve uh, the BTLOU trilogy, um, which was finding the air, fixing the air, and now um, a little preventative measure, measure from uh, allowing it to uh, crop up again. So, made it this far. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this will help somebody um, get their veteran Sherman um, in a, to a better place and a better condition. So, again, thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day morning, evening, or night.